Steve, do you know much about echolocation? Oh, for sure. Like how bats and even people can navigate by listening to the echo as sound waves bounce off objects in their environment. I could definitely hear the difference if I'm in a really big open room versus a tiny closet. Oh yeah, me too. But many blind people have perfected their echolocation skills far beyond that, and they can pick up all kinds of information about their surroundings just by listening. A startup in Boston wants to put echolocation in the reach of everyone by making it easier, more discreet, and precise. The Sunu Band is a smart wristband that combines sonar echolocation with precise vibration feedback, so you can get all kinds of information about your environment with gentle taps on your wrist. Vancouver's Grant Hardy couldn't wait to find out more, and so he met up with one of the co-founders to see, or should I say feel, what it's all about. When I first saw the early prototype of the Sunu Band, I became immediately excited about the potential for this device. My name is Fernando Victorio, and I'm one of the co-founders and co-creators of the Sunu Band. You see, myself, I have low vision because of albinism, and I'm legally blind. Our sonar sensor emits ultrasound that interacts with objects within the environment, and the Sunu Band receives that information amplifies it and filters it and transforms that into vibrations that the person feels on their wrist. So by simply turning their wrist in a specific direction, the user can then aim the sonar sensor and receive knowledge about objects or obstacles that are within that particular direction, as well as knowing how far these objects are, are in relation to their body. Fernando's description of the wearable echolocation device had me intrigued. Thankfully, he brought a demo version to try out. So Grant, uh, this is the Sunu Band. Awesome. So you feel the, um, the sonar sensor. Uh, it feels like a metallic cylinder yeah. that's kind of embedded within the device. Now Sunu Band um, has no LEDs, it has no screens. Uh, it has a touchpad and two buttons that are on the side. Yeah. How does it feel? It's great, I mean, it's super light and um... You can hardly feel that it's there, but, uh, but you can really feel it when it vibrates. It was time for me to hit the streets and try out the band. Fernando describes some of its potential uses. I like using the Sunu Band when I'm outside, uh, finding the tree branches and bushes that can get in the way. Um, you know, having low vision and walking around my neighborhood, sometimes I will bump into tree branches, uh, limbs, and signposts. The Sunu Band has uses for interior spaces, like at a store, helping to navigate aisles, find doorways, and move through a lineup, like at a cash line. Hey, am I uh, up? You are next. Three. Three wine glasses. Oh, thanks. Okay. The band's haptic feedback, or vibrations, are certainly noticeable and provide details such as the distance and direction from an object. Clearly, a new user like myself would benefit from more practice with the device, such as pinpointing the angle to aim the sensor and interpreting the vibrations. The band also works with a companion iOS app that lets the user adjust settings, such as the sonar range and sensitivity, as well as the strength of the haptic feedback on your wrist. You can also enable advanced features like enhanced edge and corner detection and update the Sunu Band when new features are released. According to Fernando, stronger and better integration with other navigation apps, such as Google Maps, is part of the future evolution of the Sunu Band. It's not just about getting to where you need to go uh, and surviving along the way. It's about thriving when you're navigating and you're going to where you need to go. Sounds like the Sunu Band has huge potential to improve the lives of blind and low vision travelers. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I'd definitely like to give it a try. I think with training and practice, it would give me a lot more information about my surroundings. And for example, when I'm walking with my guide dog, sometimes he misses things that are overhead, so that would help. Agreed. And I've got to think that for people who refuse to use any mobility devices, folks who haven't perfected their own echolocation skills, or people traveling in very noisy environments, it's going to be amazing. Yeah, for sure. I think mobility is so important for independence, and so I'm all for anything that will get more people outside. And this technology is just getting started. It'll be really interesting to see how it evolves. The Sunu Band starts shipping this fall, and you can find out more info about the project at sunu.io. That's S-U-N-U dot I-O.